Namaste Star Family, welcome back to the Matrix Oracle for another Pick a Card reading. This one I am dedicating to Pluto finally transiting in Aquarius once and for all, November 19th, 2024, all the way until 2044. Now, there will be some retrogrades, so this energy, let me get the date. Okay, November 19th, all the way to May 3rd, 2025, before we have a retrograde, and we'll address this energy for this planet. Pluto is associated to the back of your solar plexus when you work with Kundalini. In the tarot, it is the judgment card. And because there is this archangel energy on that tarot card, I decided to work with archangels and archaeas, but also with the tarot card that represents Aquarius, which is the star card. So we're going to choose those piles and I'm going to invite you to decide also according to a zodiac placement, if that's something that you like. I'm not going to suggest your Pluto placement because it moves so um, so slow every 20 years, but let's see what I want. I want pile number one, I want pile number two, and pile number three. So we have, let's put the zodiac signs first. <laughs> this message for this picker card is for you to see that it's time to realize how special you are. It is time for you to harness this power. This is the time of Aquarius. Aquarius is a zodiac archetype that is a way shower in its light work. Okay, so it's walking your talk. And, and yes, and talking your walk, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see pile number one. We have, again, so those are all-star card, different decks. Pile number two. And pile number three. And then pile number one, we have Taurus. We have Cancer. We have Libra. And we have a Gemini. Pile number two, we have Scorpio. We have Aries, we have Virgo, and we have Sagittarius. Pile number three, we have Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and Leo. All right, this is what we have. I let you choose according to maybe the card or the zodiac placement. Again, any placement. It can be your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. All right, I will see you there for your message. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your messages. It is time for you to realize and honor how special you are. Pluto moving into Aquarius for the next 20 years is a big shift. Collectively, we are called to lead the way by who we are energetically. One of the teachings of Aquarius, some of the first degrees are about the law of resonance, okay? So attracting everything that we are within all that we are and manifest. Actually, I wrote something and maybe it is, it is for this reel. I haven't created the reel yet, but I channeled this this morning. Your whole existence is a vibrational experience. That's something for you, my dear pile number one. Okay, so let's get some messages. I chose uh, the connection to animal spirits the fairies, the archangels and archaeas, and the good tarot, all right, to reveal to you some messages about how special you are, because it's time for you to hear some of those messages, okay, all right, we're gonna get one for each, and this one, and then we'll get 
some questions if we have any that pop up okay beautiful so pile number one you have the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries so right off the bat <laughs> this is for my empaths out there i i am sure my super empaths or the one that had to learn how to set energy boundaries okay work with energy work with magic you are here choosing pile number one if that's you drop me a little wizard or a little witch or a little genie whatever magic being <laughs> that we have as far as emoji that's your superpower it's actually to be able to sense energy being able to read energy being someone that can read people versus what they're saying what they're doing there's there's a knowing that you have that is vibrational and that's part of something that makes you very special now if you are struggling with the superpower because with every power comes the challenge of the power the kryptonite and the curse whatever you want to call it i am going to suggest vibrationally to work with my super empath playlist this is something i created for myself as a super empath i was really having a hard time to set boundaries in other people's uh, you know interaction with me especially um doing everything that i was doing and just connected to my hypersensitivity so some of you if that's something that you relate to that's that's your <laughs> that's your gift <laughs> scent and you want to work with this power you're going to find a link to the super empath playlist here and i will also list it below in the video description okay now what else do we have we have the arcade uh harmony bring in music wow you know what's interesting in the angles of the zodiac the number 25 is actually degrees that speaks of working with energy working with magic and i told you here like this is a card of energy worker this is a card of light worker light warriors shadow worker like people that understand energy and understand also music. So it's confirming what I said as far as music being such a supportive tool for you, my dear pile number one, to not only just harness your gift, but able to um, create the field that allows your most fulfilling reality to manifest because of that hypersensitivity that means that you're vibrationally very receptive but part of the teachings on earth is to be able to maintain your frequency and this is something that with this pluto in aquarius maintaining your frequency is going to be important okay so let me give you some of the recommendation I give to uh, people even in like one-on-one -on -one consultation, okay? The super empath, you can just work with one video at a time. But I want for you especially to let yourself listen to the sound and pick up on the noise that comes up. Is there a particular person, a particular feeling, situation, okay? And you can journal it or you can just, you know, uh, review or let the madness of the noise play out because it's going to give you insight on what situation maybe carried some of those negative conditionings that are listed in the video description of each super empath activation. Okay, now that's active meditation, active journaling. Here, pile number um, that with that 
I was going to say pile number two. So some of you, there might be another message in pile number two. That's not what I w wanted to say, but it seems that it just kind of like <laughs> just burst it out. Um, and that's how it works with empath. It's just sometimes we just say things that we don't intend to. It just comes out vibrationally. So some of you, there's something about pile number two um, that might be there for you. Okay. Um, at night, I want you to play for falling asleep the organ playlist. This builds up your chi. And especially, I will tell you, if you are an empath that feels depleted, if you're lacking life force, you need to break free from the noise. Super empath, active meditation, because you need to recognize what noise, the source of the noise, so you stop attracting this. And remember, strong teachings of the law of resonance. But we need to support you with your chi. And this, the violin is my symbol for the 12 organs, which each organs are connected to meridians that are connected to six yin organs, six yang organ. And they when they all flow together, it's actually the 12 zodiac archetypes. See, everything is connected. And you're going to have through this period of time, and see some of you, if you aren't able to see how fully your gift is or how special you are, vibration will lead you there. It will open up your magic. You know, I was very, very, like, so grateful that my love for music and my under, natural understanding for sound and vibration is helping through this type of messages. Because I know that you can just vibrationally tune to something and then get your own personal messages. Because ultimately, the greatest guidance is the one you receive. And there is something that you're meant to to receive, especially through the beginning of this phase of Pluto in Aquarius. Your gift of empathy, your gift of recognizing and reading vibration. Now we need to make sure that you bring in music, you understand it's a vibrational healing tool for you to uplift and strengthen your boundaries, but also build up your chi. If you're able to... Um, do your own playlist. I think you have to have the YouTube membership where there's no ads. So um, you can do the 12 organs and even play the aura cleansing and strengthener. Okay. As a playlist. And that's something you can fall asleep to. Um, that's going to be really supportive for you. Okay. Last card. We have... <sighs> the grail fairy, fertility, the return of life, health and life cycles. It's, I love how it's kind of like all connected to the progression of how things are going to evolve for you. You see, when you, you had messages to pay attention to your vibration receptivity, you need the boundaries, you need to use the music, so you can feel your own field and not get confused with what's yours and what's not. This will restore life. This is important with your life cycle, so the life force, the return of life. So everything we mentioned, this is going to help you to birth something that is very dear to you. Look at this. Do you see this synchronicity? Holy moly. Double magic. Wow. The number three in the um, angles of the zodiac is about foundation. Some of you, you might be, um, you know, energy worker, Reiki masters, um, uh, massage therapists. You could be acupuncturist. People that work with energy that have this holistic understanding. And it's important for you to work with this, to allow yourself to see that this is something special. 
You know, this is something that is meant for you and to be expressed in your very specific way. So can we get some of the very unique ways that you're meant to um, express this gift? Okay, because you have a gift of reading energy. You have a gift for shifting energy. Wow, the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. So some of you, you might not realize. Um, first of all, it, it fell on this. You see how she creates her own vibrational reality? Swords, they have tension. Tension from the thoughts. So part also of you having this in it, very special connection to vibration does give you the challenge of being affected even to the point of depression. Some of you, if you suffer from depression or anything of that sort, go and check out my pharmacy for any type of uh, negative um, manifestation. You know, I have anger, frustration, insecurities, fears, doubts, um, all the, uh, even one that's for vibrational alignment. Sound is just so precious to your creative life force, to your magic, to you sh showing up as the magical being that you are, okay? And as a result, you're going to be able to support others to remove their own noise. You could, if you're going to be, uh, you know, for example, let's say you massage, you're a massage therapist and you're able to support a client, um, that has a lot of mental chatter and they're finally able to relax in your field. That's because of your special power, but you can only gift what you are a master of. That's a vibrational law. I am not making this up. You cannot fake it till you make it, okay? This is vibrational law. You can only gift what you already have and use and apply for yourself. That's, so that's where the energy work that we talked about could be of the essence for you. To really be able to receive the confirmation of what makes you unique, the, the special, that special aspect of yourself. Okay? All right. Let's pull another card. I feel I just want to pull a tarot card for each of those steps. Wow. The queen of fire. Your heart. What moves you is your heart. Compassion, empathy. Oh, I get chills everywhere in my body, especially down my legs, okay? Um, you know, in the Zodiac, if you take body parts, all the way, like the, all the upper torso, midsection, um, is pretty much under the horizon, uh, I would say almost the, all the way to Virgo, Aries Virgo. And then when you get a lot of information, and I felt it especially... Um, above the horizon, so all the way from Libra, all the way to Pisces. This is our experience with others. This is the experience with the community, the one-on-one -on -one relationships, our public life. This is something that is going to make you feel seen and appreciated. Your heart. The flame in your heart. And it's important that you, and some of you, I talk about this in personal sessions, you know, spiritual hygiene. This is something that is so precious. I, I have very strong ethics as far as my hygiene. I need to. Some of you, you know, I tell you uh, when I do personal sessions that are recorded, I always play, even the live ones, I always play my aura strengthener and cleanser in the background it's removed so it doesn't get overwhelming or distracting. But I know that it helps create a field where I can recognize what's mine and what it is that I pick up. And then, not only then, I don't need to do a whole lot of rituals between clients because the whole time there is this type of uh, 
protective field that is acting up so everyone is um, in charge of their own vibration and vice versa, okay? So that's something some of you, you need to become a master of so you can see the light that lights you up and that others may see as well. They might not always have demonstrated to you because maybe you were over giving, over pleasing, that will dim your light, that will shut off this, this flame. Uh, it's always there, but you know, we're like dimming it out. Um, and sometimes we can feel like it's totally gone, but it's always there. It's your connection to source. Until you pass on, there's always that flame, at least to a certain level. Okay, let's see what we have now for the return to life. The five of earth. Interesting. The five of earth is all about, um, you know, rejection, abandonment. Um, I'm being called to pay attention to this because the early, the zero to 10 degrees Taurus are associated to the five of pentacles, the five of earth. Some of you, if you have placement there, this is definitely a confirmation for you of everything we have shared so far. I would say to pay attention to the moments, to the people, to the situations that made you feel rejected. And I want you to hear that this was always God's protection. It was always a way for you to be protected. Even sometimes if you had to go through very deep uh, heartaches and other things that may have felt like there was no more light, it was a way for you to learn also in deeper ways about vibration, to be able to be taught. You know, um, for me, let me illustrate. I knew nothing about the concept of narcissism, nothing until I was 44, okay? Nothing. Like, like sometimes I'm asking myself, like, where was I? Uh, where was my head at? And when I was explained it, I realized not only it's, it's happened because I was lucky to be in partnership with someone that could recognize it be very good at it and as far as knowing the symptoms the, the way it expresses itself and being able to pick up that I had been raised in that environment and that I was totally oblivious of those terms and patterns but I can tell you one thing is that as soon as I learned everything that I had felt made sense I could now recognize so much faster because I had felt it. I just could not word it. It's almost like not having the right word for your feelings, not having a term to recognize the patterns you, you, you know are there. And especially if some of you have been told otherwise, like, oh no, this is not what's going on. There is a strong uh, power for you to recognize and harness from even having experienced those rejections. I, I'm hearing the word especially blindsided. As some of you, um, you know, you put your trust in people, situations, and were blindsided, betrayed. Um, know that it was for you to kind of fine tune your vibrational um, power, superpower. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm mind blown that this came up. I did not know what to expect as far as those messages. But pile number one, being a super empath, being someone that reads vibration, one that needs to also understand, like when you're being given a gift, some of it comes naturally, but there's also master teachings that come with it. And this incarnation on earth is meant for you to fine tune, look at the music, fine tune this gift. This is going to change your life for the greatest uh, as you are doing this work. Remember this first phase, let me look at the dates once again. 
for you. Um, this is from November 19th all the way to May 3rd, 2025th. Okay, I, I'm seeing here, um, you know, a lot of you that are going to really harness more of their life force through this type of energy work, through understanding you need to recognize your own vibration, you need to be, and then you'll start to activate this flame. And you'll be also able to stop attracting those people, situations uh, that that had attracted this pattern or this, you know, like uh, people pleasing or lack of boundaries your energy is going to be so strong. You're not going to need to use words. You know, you're not going to need to use words. I think I was um, recently watching something where there was some type of like bar fight with, uh, you know, guys getting angry, drinking too much. And I was like really lucky because I said, you know, um, to my friends when we were watching this, I'm like, I have never attracted this type of environment because I was a very um, sensitive to violence. This would be something I would walk away right away. It was just like, I, I didn't like, and if I felt anything, I had a lot of vibrational boundaries with this. That was almost like, no, we're not, there's just not this doesn't happen, you know. Uh, so that could be something that you're not realizing that you can convey your energy, what you allow the interaction. And just so you know, when you still have moments where you invite energies, uh, people, situation that repeat a certain pattern, that means that there was something you had to uh, fully review, fully understand, because everything goes into cycles, okay? So that's what I have for you, my dear pile number one. I am sending you so many blessings from the heart. And remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. I'm sending you, again, so much heart, love, blessings, gratitude, for all that you're learning to master because we need you know those energy workers to set those boundaries to vibrate with their special gifts and offer it back to the world because it's all a ripple effect hi pile number two welcome to your pick a card reading it is time for you to realize how special you are this is in honor of the pluto going in aquarius so with the star card a beautiful connection to the stars i i feel like i want to highlight the word connection there's something about connectivity maybe unity um that is part of what makes you special, you know, because it is time for you to harness certain parts of you. Aquarius is an archetype that is a way shower, so you gotta show up as your most authentic self, especially that it works with the law of resonance. A lot of its teaching is through understanding that this whole experience is a vibrational, this whole existence is a vibrational experience. Okay, so, um, what do I want to start with? Let's see what we have here. Full pile number two. Wow, okay. We have the lion spirit, be generous of spirit. Then we have the deer spirit, bring a gentle touch. And the bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. Okay, <laughs> you know what, I really feel that part of what you need to hear, pile number two, is that you have a very, you see here with the lion and the deer, a very strong type of energy, charisma, leadership, that comes from the heart, that comes from your gift of compassion, 
your generosity, your heart-centeredness, and not only this, your connection to spirit, the connection to source. This is this this source. Uh, some of you, it could be you know astrology, anything that has to do with mystical, uh, esoteric knowledge or experience, or just your sense of belief, of faith, of hope. This is what makes you special. It's your connection to your heart. Some of you, if uh, you are new to the channel, maybe you never heard me say this, but because I work with frequencies and um, music technology, as far as the application to chakras, the heart in perfect unison, in perfect fifth unison, remember unity, resonates with your star chakra, your soul star chakra, and your earth star chakra. The word star comes twice. The, that, that's like how you're connected through your heart, through the connection to your heart. You have this connection to source that is ongoing, that is always there. And that is part of what makes you special. Show up in this way for others. They, they might not recognize exactly what you're doing, but this is like inspiration, perfect, inspiring. Because when you bring inspiration, you help people get off their feet, you know, get up and mo get moving with their desires. But you do it in a very gentle way in a way that is very uniquely yours, in a way um, that could be, you know, be, you could be intriguing to others, like some aspect of yourself might be intriguing. And um, yeah, that's, that's part of what makes you special, is that gift of leadership from the heart that connects you to source, that almost feels to others that you're so aligned okay mm -hmm. all right let's see what else we have i don't know why there's this fourth animal card that wants to pop up i don't know what that is but i will indulge it seems before i even look at it because of the amount of animal spirit that wants to come forward you love animals or your love for animals um is strong in astrology the sixth house is the house where we have the pets. Uh, if that's something you want to look at, maybe some of you have in your natal chart some sixth house placement. The planets that you have um, connected to the sixth house might be relevant to the chakra. So if you do not know the association when you work with Kundalini, with the planets and the chakra, I'm going to quickly mention this to you root chakra, Saturn, and Uranus, sacral chakra, Jupiter and Neptune, solar plexus, Mars and Pluto, heart, Venus, throat, uh, Mercury, third eye, the sun and the moon. The crown is the flower, is the aroma, is the essence, is what blooms what awakens when you activate all the chakra line okay and i feel like um according to what planet you have this is connected to your chakra okay so you might want uh, to see how that resonates for you oh my god look at this otter spirit you are never alone now, that could be something that uh, makes you also special because with this type of connection to spirit, uh, to animals, to angels, I feel that part of what makes you also stand out and special, a pile number two, is that you, you, I don't see you being ever lonely. It's like the world speaks to you. It speaks in vibration. It speaks through animal spirit, uh, numerology I'm hearing. That might be part of the mystery here. Um... You might just be strongly connected to your faith. It doesn't have to be religious. It's just, you just feel the presence 
of life, of source, of God surrounding you. So that's part of something that makes you probably shine even brighter is that you could have been told by people that um, you seem to be someone that doesn't need anyone, okay, that doesn't need uh, help or, and it's not like in the negative sense, even though people could have said it in a negative sense, but I want you to harness the fact that it is part of <clears throat> a superpower, meaning like you, there's no separation. And maybe some of you also, you have eighth house um, energy as far as the mystery of life, but also with the death energy of the eighth house, which means there's no separation between parallel worlds. Maybe also uh, being able to speak to ancestors or communicate with spirit, deceased ones and past ones. It might be, this. there's just, uh, remember at the very beginning, I mentioned unity. The very strong sense of you feeling um, at home with earth. And that might have not been always the case because with this type of energy, where you never feel alone. I would not be surprised that maybe you experience a lot of opposite contradiction, you know, feeling very lonely at the beginning or having a hard time uh, settling, um, rooting yourself, grounding yourself in a home, in a town. There's, there's a lot here that you had to transcend and overcome because part of that gift that you are that makes you special is your connection to everything. Your connections to the animal kingdom, to the plants, to the unseen spirit, spirit guides. All right, now I'm curious to look at the um, archangel energy for you. <laughs> okay, all right, we have... Archaea victory. Raise your vibration. Wow. You know, let me see this. Archaea victory. I have her counterpart. Let me see. Let me see. Because I have it somewhere. Where is it? If I put Archaea victory. Mm. Mm. I don't have it here. Yes, I do. That's Leo's energy. Archaea victory is part of the Leo archetype. It works with Archangel Raziel. It's part of becoming a seer, becoming a visionary. And remember, it's like you're someone that by you maybe having to experience aloneness, um, you know, not solitude, because I feel like some of you now you're able to enjoy your solitude or moments of quiet and peace. Was it always the case? Probably not. Um, but you had to raise yourself up. You, some of you, maybe you had to, um, you know, uh, raise yourself, like you grew up much faster as a child, you had a lot of responsibility early in age, you had to raise yourself up. So you had to already do this work of raising your vibration, being there for you, coaching yourself, inspiring yourself to move towards your aspiration, probably guided by spirit here, okay? I want to share just one thing that I'm picking up on. It's very important for you, pile number two, to um, in order to remain charismatic, magnetic, to watch for your people-pleasing tendencies, okay? Because of the raise your vibration and the deer and the number 13. I don't know. I just felt it, um, you know, putting others before you is good until it's not. And having the ability to recognize, you know, um, that you can only help if you help yourself first. Maybe you had to experience this. Maybe in the past you were 
overly giving, overly comforting, and not giving this to yourself. Yeah, I would say here, if you need some vibrational support, go and check out my Empath Survival Kit. I'm not sure exactly which frequency, but when you scroll in it, there's a couple of uh, frequencies, actually quite a lot, <laughs> quite many in there. Um, I'm going to put it here uh, as far as the timestamp and also in the description box below. Um, there might be something that you can, you know, scroll and see like, oh yeah, that's something I need to make sure. I don't know why, but I'm picking up on something that has to do with vibrational boundaries, um, you know, as an empath, making sure you have a certain energy boundaries, maybe also the aura cleansing. Yeah. Okay. I feel there's another archangel for you, pile number two. Ooh, Archangel Metatron. Remember who you are. Okay. Um, Archangel Metatron, when you work with the connection to the Archangels, to the Zodiac Wheel, to the natal chart, again, so that's something very advanced, and I'm not going to discuss the details, but I want to tell you that this is actually connected to the North Node. Okay? Archangel Metatron. And um, Archangel Metatron works with the archetype, if I'm not mistaken, of Virgo. Let me just make sure I am correct. Yes. And we do have Virgo here. Some of you, just because of this, there might be a second message connected to your North Node. Okay, as far as something that makes you very special and that you need to hear. What's interesting with our Archangel Metatron is that its divine counterpart is Archaea Constance. You have to be patient. You have to be constant. So some of you, part of um, what makes you special is your dedication. Yeah, you're not giving up easily. And what fuels this is your connection to source. I would say like someone that is spiritually devoted, spiritually dedicated. And again, it's, I'm not meaning religiously. I'm meaning like you're practicing regularly meditation. You have certain practices that you apply to stay in alignment with yourself, your understanding um, that you want to show vibrationally in your best version of self as much as possible. You know, there's, there's some guidance around this. Okay, I feel that's all for the first part. And then I'm going to move into different decks for you. I had no idea we were going to do it like that for you, pile number two. <laughs> but again, it, you're special, so things are going to be unique. Agreements Bride, Sacred Union, Commitment Ceremony maturing into deep relationship it again it's that's this time nature your true nature your abundant nature some of you if you are having a hard time uh, let me see um before i need to pull a tarot card before i continue i want to confirm or not confirm we'll see what i'm feeling the high priestess, yeah, okay, um, there's some type of secret activation that you're meant to unlock, okay, and it's going to require you to use breath work, go and check out my true abundant nature playlist, Okay, you what you can do is you can there's a video tutorial, you can listen to it. There's some breath work. Each video has a type of breath. Two uh, are meant to be accessed if you are any type of level of star membership, you know, uh, YouTube members on this channel. But you can work with the first two, and the first two is about energy balance 
energy balance, and then psychic surgery. I don't know why, but there's something maybe you have to um, operate on. And can we have some details about this? Because I feel that there's some type of removal. Hmm. A golden gift. Oh, you know what? Magic help is on its way. Okay. This is very cryptic. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. We had the bobcat energy. Um, you have a special ability to support people with removing certain negative conditioning, energies, um, thought patterns, emotional patterns, whatever. You're able, because I feel that's something that you had to do for yourself, okay? Breath work is definitely part of your connection to, because with nature, you know, it's like I'm seeing the plants. Uh, it needs your CO2 for its life and it's giving you oxygen and it's like an exchange energy exchange through your breath inhale exhale inhale exhale there's some type of activation especially through this phase of you know uh, Pluto moving finally in Aquarius and staying there Okay, all the way to May 3rd, 2025, before it goes into retrograde. There's some type of magical gift that is going to be... I'm not going to say... It's like... It, some of you, I feel that you already know what that is. but there, So that would be a mastery. And some of you, it's something that has been buried within. And this is where I feel as, you know, a channel for those type of messages... If you haven't tapped into that gift yet, that's the uh, uh, energy album you want to work with, okay? Because I'm like, why do I hear? Like, there's something to remove. And part of my personal gift is to help and support people with certain times, with certain removals of noise, thought patterns, emotion through sound, okay? So you might need uh, that type of support. And if not, use the breath work to um, to activate, to further this gift. Let's get some um, tarot cards with this. More tarot cards about this gift. You're, you are meant, whoa, I'm saying you are meant, and then I flip this one to shine. Pile number two, you're highly special. There's a lot that you're meant to um, to showcase. Remember the charisma? Remember the leadership? Yeah. Okay. Then we have carry me home. Support time to be carried. Allow others to help. But what I feel, it's like... Um, Spirit is going to help you so you can also support others to go back to their connection to spirit, to their connection to their intuition with the high priestess. That's part of your gift because you know how to connect and stay connected. Ace of air to their truth. Be authentically you. And the hangman. If that's you, by the way, if you resonate with this, drop me a unicorn. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the hangman is Neptune. Neptune is our connection to the collective subconscious. I feel that some of you, you're working with spirit to help unlock some of the... Um, um, and remove some of the old matrix subconscious patterns at a collective level. That's like a big mission here. It's, it's very bright. Let's see what else we have. Wow, you really have like two aces. Riddle Fisher, divination, seeking out and finding answers with the ace of water. 
um, s- s- with all this gift energy and this union, I feel that you're someone that is meant to activate other people's gift. Activate their spiritual connection so they can have like, through your own spiritual abundance, you're able to gift others spiritual, their access. And it's not like I do this for you. You have a way for them to be in alignment, do the work, do the journaling, do the shadow work, do whatever it is that is needed for them. Even if it's just uh, understanding a certain concept, a certain energy, uh, hearing a certain talk, a certain video, you, you have that potential. Like, um, you know, if I had to like connect to human design, it feels like a generator. You Like the more you generate energy, and you raise your vibration, and you remember your purpose, you, you harness those gifts, the more it keeps on creating more and more, and everybody benefits. So that's part of uh, what makes you special, my dear pile number two. Whoa, what an amazing aspect of yourself, because I feel like this <laughs> that's like one of the many, but that kind of sums it up. Um, thank you for being among us and, and, and sharing your gifts, sharing your light shining it bright. Again, if that's you, drop me a unicorn. I will know (laughs) that is you. And remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow and it always puts a smile on my face. So thank you. Namaste. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your messages. This is all about realizing that it's the time for you to harness the fact that you're special. Yeah, you are. With Pluto in Aquarius, for the next 20 years, it's time to walk your talk and go ahead with all the achievements that you have in your heart, all of those desires, all of those goals. Aquarius has a lot of teachings about vibration. I feel a lot of give and take, reciprocity uh, that is aligned with your gift, what makes you special, okay? Okay. You can choose according to any uh, zodiac placement because Pluto moves so slow. I would suggest, you know, your sun, moon or rising again up to your intuition or just because how pretty the car looks. (laughs) All right, let's get your messages, my dear pile number three. There's something about your smile, pile number three feel like a smile that lights up the the crowd that lights up the room and there's something about your presence that is very much um inviting yeah wow yes the story keeper tell your story legacy write your wisdom but you know what i saw first with this was the gathering of the storyteller back in the times where we did not have the ability to write or have the tools always how people used to gather around the storytellers around also the shamans because the shamans their part of their ancient ways is through storytelling planting some seeds of higher consciousness that will bloom in time, you know. Um, you know who I'm thinking of right now is all the um, books from Don Juan, Don Carlos. What, what is the Don Juan? Let me just get that. Yeah, I feel that there's some. There's maybe some of you. You're meant to be writers or are writers. Don Juan teachings. I don't know if I'm... Yeah. Oh, Carlos Castaneda. The Teachings of Don Juan by Carlos um, Castaneda. Castaneda. Okay. Those type of uh, books. I remember when I started to read them, how I was amazed by how it planted a seed, just like the main character was going through this process of awakening, not always understanding what the shaman character was telling and sharing with them but having like this he was still like so intrigued and so pulled into those teachings that it would take the time that it would take but they would always have like such um, 
beauty of the mystery and the energy of wonders. So there's something, okay, uh, mysterious about your presence, about your aura and your smile. You know, I think in this book, um, the teachings, Don Juan had like a specific, maybe it was in the details of the writings, but I keep on seeing his eyes sparkle, like almost like you could understand that he knew so much and he was only sharing a little bit, a little bit of the wisdom and that it was so much and that he was waiting for your feedback to continue or to test you or to have fun. There was a lot of fun, you know, with the smile. I feel like some of you, um, you could be a little bit of the archetype. You might want to research that if you don't know about it, the Ayoka the sacred clown, someone that is a super empath and that has this ability to trigger in others um, higher consciousness. But it doesn't always feel like it's friendly. But again, that depends on <laughs> who you vibe with. Uh, but I do feel this this type of teachings, okay? Some of you, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go um, the teachings... Of, that makes me really want to read those books again. <laughs> Teachings of Don Juan. I can't imagine the type of understanding I will have uh, t 10 year plus later. Yeah? Yeah, maybe almost 15. Oh my God. <laughs> Time flies. Okay. All right. I don't know why, but I feel called to use the tarot right off the bat here. Um is there a specific story, a specific story we need to talk about here for pile number three? Okay. <laughs> okay, pile number three. If you can feel this, and some of you, maybe you don't, but um, if you can, drop me a clown face. <laughs> I love when I get those energies. Oh, my. Whew. Okay. All right. Let's resume the page of fire, which is the page of wands. See, like this, this is like a white tiger. Something very unique. The full moon energy is illumination. Part of what makes you special is it's like the, the mystery of what you know. You know a lot. You have a certain ancient wisdom here, pile number three, that is undeniable and that can be felt. It's like palpable. And people are waiting for you to tell that story. People are definitely waiting for you to tell that story. It's almost like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> the king of air, telling your truth, your perception, um, I would say here, I don't know, I think it was the pile number two, I felt a connection to the human design. But here, um, I feel in the human design, maybe some of you are projectors. Yeah. I feel an energy of people that know so much, you know, that have a certain truth that is crowning them and that is meant to be told, that is meant to be shared. Archaea patience, patience, <laughs> patience, okay, so your patience will pay with trust the process, okay, some of you, if you've always known that you were meant to write something, write your story, write uh, about a certain topic you know or you're knowledgeable about, trust the process of the time it needs for it to be born, Okay, because I feel that it, it, it is part of, it's almost like a book before even being written. It's like an energy, like a, imagine like a, an unborn soul of a child. It picks the parents. It's able to know like sometimes like years ahead and it's waiting for the right time. So I feel like some of you, you need to hear like that there's a, a specific expression of your story that needs to be shared. And trust, be patient with the process that it takes for you to express and share this truth. 
because it, it seems very maybe it requires a lot of different pieces and elements and I'm, I'm i'm hearing for some of you it's not for everyone um but also some of you you have collaboration with others so they need to be also meeting you halfway you know for example if it was about publishing a book you, you need to um Wait, also maybe it's the right publisher or it's the right uh, editor or so, there's something about other people maybe being involved uh, in that process or just doors of opportunities that will make it, you know, uh, exactly what you are aiming for. You know, it's like the right thing at the wrong time is not the right thing anymore. It becomes the wrong thing because it's just divine time is at play here. Some of you, I don't know why I'm sharing this, okay? But I, <laughs> that's what I, what I do. <laughs> but when I mention time, you might want to look at the message associated to your Saturn placement, okay? Saturn placement. And some of you, if you need to hear the most recent Saturn um, messages, Saturn is highly connected to the notion of time, the god Kronos, um, and some other energies, but among which this one. There is some urgent divine messages from divine timing that you might want to hear at this time. Oh my God, I keep on saying it. <laughs> Like, if you haven't heard the word time or didn't get it, <laughs> get on that train. <laughs> Ooh, oh, for the ones that already dropped me a, a clown face or haven't yet, you can add a little choo choo train to it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Love. Love. My God, it's something about it's something that you are it that you love. It's something that you love that you're going to write about, that you're going to share, that you are meant to talk about, that you're meant to share, that you're meant to uh, communicate. Very strong through your presence. You know, some of you you might I'm seeing even like people um, doing seminars, workshops. Maybe both, like uh, public speaking. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. And then we have Archangel Jeremiah. Signs, symbols, and synchronicities with the 1111. Okay, that's going to be... Um, I, want, I want you to have it in some notes or something that... You know, that's a long transit. Okay, that's that first phase of Pluto in Aquarius. And it is for you to harness this aspect of yourself that is so special. And when I feel this, I love it so much. I love it so much. And some of you, maybe there's something you already know that you love so much and you want it to be shared. You want to convey. You want to do the workshops, the TED Talks. I don't know why I'm saying this, but whatever. Um, podcast. Okay. 11-11. Um, is going to be part of a synchronicity, a synchronization for you as paying attention to the signs for this to align. The stars are aligning for you. Okay? They are. Can we get some details about the star alignment? Yes, we will. Oh, okay. All right. I'm getting two different things. Okay. Okay. We're getting some messages about... Woo! <laughs> All right. And there. We have... <gasps> the Midnight Prince. Ask for what you want. Be honest. Some of you, it's setting some, some goals. Some um, Maybe you have to work with setting visions, vision boards, uh aiming for certain um, manifestation. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm feeling another book. Yes, oh my God, you are like so <laughs> bookworm. Uh, maybe there's some a, a specific book that you are meant to read at this time or you have put off, do it. But I'm connecting to... Um, <sighs> Think and Grow Rich. 
there it is. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. There's maybe certain, like, the advice of manifestation that I feel strongly for you. It is a time. Maybe some of you, you've already read it. You didn't put it to work or you did and put it aside. It's time to go back to this. Now, we also have the bat spirit. A rebirth is assured. And the wombat spirit. Be at home. Um, it's got... It's not for everyone, but I do feel it, so I'm going to mention it. Uh, some of you, it could be connected to manifesting a home. I have a lot of people, uh, personal clients or, you know, people that have, like, connected with me that I don't know as well, that are trying to manifest a new home. There is something about you manifesting a home. Manifesting a place, an environment, a job an opportunity that feels in alignment with who you are. You see, I don't know why this little womb bat has. It's interesting because double bat. <laughs> but with the womb energy. So something that is created. Oh, you know what? The thinking grow rich energy works a lot with sensual energy. Your life force. So there is something here definitely for you, pile number three, as far as working with the divine in this partnership, working with your life force, because you are meant to manifest it. You are meant to manifest those desires, part of this truth, part of this story, part of like this script. Some of you could be uh, actors, writers, like people that are wanting to be on stage that are like, I see a lot of like stage energy, you know, platform, public speaking, um, social media. Okay. And last but not least, I feel there's another archangel. We're going to put this aside for a second. Okay. The signs wants to stay. <laughs> we will. Uh, there's something about the sign and the synchronicity. Okay. All right. Oh, it's in partnership with another. Okay. We have oh, abundance. Step into overflow. See, riches. Um, some of you, maybe it's about writing about mindset, coaching, success mindset, athlete mindset how to manifest. There's definitely here some type of higher truth um, that makes you abundant, special. Maybe some of you, part of those, the writing, the book is about alignment to source because abundance, a source is abundant. So it's like, it feels like a cascade. You know, some of you is just being able to be fully in alignment with what and uh, places and situation that feels like home. I feel very starseed energy here. So some of you, you may, as like a result, may have felt like uh, at the beginning, like earth was not home. And realizing as you harness more and more of your own story, that it was always part of being your home. Yeah. Wow, look at this, Grimman's door. Portals to fairy, will of the year, galactic and Gaian entry point. Um, you can work with time and space. You can open doorways. You're here able to do this through whatever you're harnessing as knowledge. Some type of mystery, we saw it with this page of wands, something that is very uniquely yours. Maybe you're... You know, um, oh yeah, this is Aquarius energy because I was like, I was going to say, you might be ahead of your time. Some of you, you are connected to the stars. And so you're channeling, you're channeling um, messages, knowledge from other star systems. Wow, that is grandiose is the word that I'm hearing. <laughs> I love this for you, pile number three. I'm sending you so many blessings. If it resonates it with you, with how you feel inside, please give it a thumbs up. I am just so delighted to have you on board. Uh, your energy is so loving, so delightful, 
it was a pleasure reading for you. That's all I have to say. It's like, you know, applause. <laughs> Thank you so much. Namaste.